Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Link. You can see that Link tried to push a little bit higher since the last update, since the last high that was formed on Saturday. So far in line with expectations, however, this high might have just been a high B wave. We're going to talk about that right now. Either way, support levels are holding. They didn't need to be adjusted. Still looking possibly at higher prices here in the yellow scenario. So let's, let's take a look at the structure in more detail. Has anything changed? First of all, if we zoom out a little bit, um, the idea is still that this year could have marked, so the low on the 5th of August could have marked the completion of a larger degree wave two after a WXY structure formed and the Y wave might have bottomed here on the 5th of August. Um, the Y wave itself consists of an ABC structure and the C wave to the downside of Y of two, yeah, might indeed have completed. That requires some additional evidence okay so for example if we zoom into the detailed wave count what we want to see now is a five wave pattern the five wave pattern will indicate that the trend has moved from a downtrend back into an uptrend so we're transitioning back into an uptrend we can um we can get some clarity about that once we get five waves up to minimally 14 dollars 26 which means five waves should minimally reach 14 dollars 26. the third wave typically should reach the 1.38 extension, in this case, $13.41. We haven't even reached it. So that means we only have three waves up at the moment and we, no we haven't even got a viable third wave yet, which would be needed for a larger five wave pattern. So within these five wave patterns, there are clear, let's say guidelines, there are certain levels to watch, certain parameters to be respected. And um, this, the third wave is still unfolding, okay? so. If it breaks down earlier and if we don't hold support, then I would have to assume that a three wave move to the upside already topped and that we're breaking down again, uh, which would basically stop this nice uptrend. And we, it would mean that we're deviating from that five wave pattern roadmap to the upside. As I said, at the moment we have a wave one, a wave two, third wave still unfolding, then another four, five. We now need to zoom into the third wave and the third wave consists of an ABC structure. So we rallied in wave A, pull back in wave B. I'm tracking wave B as a triangle. Other interpretations are possible. So the microstructure remains a little bit flexible, fragile, because depending on where I'm labeling exactly this B wave low that presumably bottomed on Monday the 19th, we will get a different structure to the upside, but this here works well at the moment. The idea is that wave C to the upside is now unfolding and wave C is an impulse as it seems. So we already completed waves one, whoops, one second, one, two, third wave top possibly here on Saturday where we expected it. Then the fourth wave, yeah, this might've been the fourth, bit weak maybe. Is this already the fifth wave? Maybe, but it's getting rejected there. So maybe it needs another test of support which we would then call a so-called high B wave, indicating that the rally that happened today where the price topped around $12.72, $12.70 was just a high B wave. It was part of the entire correction um, in wave four. It was just uh, already trying to break out and failed, okay? So these happen quite frequently if the correction wasn't substantial enough to correct the rally that happened into the Saturday high. But yeah, it's possible wave five started already or it's a high B wave. It looks a bit like a high B wave at the moment. It will surely depend a little bit on what Bitcoin is doing as well. Bitcoin isn't doing much at the moment. I think it's just moving just moving sideways right now, up and down, chopping around a little bit um, without clear direction. So Bitcoin needs to make up its mind. And then we can watch for some interesting movements possibly later today here on the link chart as well. Yep, if the support area needs to be tested again, then it would likely be a C wave. And as long as we're holding the $11.23 level, um, the overall focus could remain on higher prices. Yeah, and 11.23 to 11.91 are the relevant support levels. If wave C unfolds to the downside, it gets a long wave C, maybe we even test 11.53, but that's not absolutely needed. That's the update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.